are back here on Girl Talk. I love field trips, especially when I'm going out here to the Peacock Auto Mall. How yes, fun is that? I am here to je today with Jessica Cody. Thank Hello. you for joining us. Of course. Thank Hyundai. you Hyundai. You're like Hyundai fun day. That's it. It's fun you day know, Hyundai. It's funny. Last time we were together, we talked about our puppies. Yes. And it's been that long. So yes. I'm excited to talk with you again. And you are the service director. Correct. Yes, Which is kind of interesting. How did you get into that? And what is the service director? What is your role and responsibility? Yeah, absolutely. I started off as an advisor. Um, great company that we work for here likes to promote from within. So I was promoted to the service director. Been with Hyundai now going on about 10 years. Oh my gosh. Um, it's a fun filled day. You never really know what to expect. Every day is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So it makes it very interesting and keeps your day moving along quickly, that's for sure. Well, as I walk in, I see many people in here getting service and everyone's smiling and seems pretty well content. Absolutely. So summer is upon us. Yes, ma'am. Are there different things I need to be prepared for in the summer? Do you all do different things during the summer? Absolutely. That cabin filter is huge. You want to make sure you keep that replaced. We've talked about that in the yes. past. You want to make sure that the pollen and the dust and all those things that are going to be entering into your vehicle are stopped by that cabin filter. What's but a cabin filter? It's the in-cabin air filter, normally behind your glove box. We like oh. to check that one out to make sure that it stays clean so you're breathing in clean air. That's one of the top things. I never even knew that. Mm -hmm, absolutely. All right, what else? Um, there's lots of things. Of course, you want to make sure your oil is maintained. Um, we ask about every 5,000 miles. I was miles. just going to ask, is there a formula yeah, that you uh, adhere to? 5,000 miles and just keep that done on a regular. We have a lot of clientele in the area that doesn't drive a lot. So we just ask to see their vehicle about every tw uh, twice a year or so. Well, here's the important part. So I'm pretty diligent about oil changes and things like that when reminded, <laughs> right? Absolutely. So how does that work with you well? We, well, one, you should get an oil change sticker. It's right there in the corner of your windshield. A lot of people rely on that. If for some reason we happen to slip and say, oops, we forgot yeah, it, oops. a lot of people will run right back in. I need my sticker. That's my okay. reminder. You will get certain mailers and things, but just, and a lot of the vehicles now have the maintenance reminder. So the car will let you know, hey, time oh, to get it's your time. oil changed. Yep, yep. Exactly. I like that. That exactly. makes a lot of sense. Yes. Now, do I need to make an appointment or how do you like your clients to deal with service? We definitely take walk-ins. We'll never, we'll try not to turn you away, okay. but of course, to lower your wait, wait time, time, we that definitely makes sense. try to make appointments. Good thing is, um, what we try to get people in the habit of doing is make your appointment while you're here. If you kind of know your routine and your mileage and how long it's going to take you to get there, set that appointment up before you walk out and then you know it's already in the books. You'll get the email reminders should be pretty flawless from there. You are really proud of your team. Absolutely. You said the service team is top notch. Absolutely. Talk to us a little bit about that. We have three service advisors that are all great guys. Mm -hmm. I've worked with all of them for quite some time. Mm -hmm. um, we said it's a team. Yes, it's definitely a mm -hmm. team effort. Uh, we have a wonderful warranty administrator. We have technicians that are quality trained technicians that work on the vehicles. It goes all the way down to the porters that are the guys that wash the cars. It's a team effort. And then, of course, the sales staff, we couldn't do it without them as well. Now, okay, we're talking about service. We're talking about driving. What about, how do I want to say this? What about educating your consumer? Yes, um, that's awesome you bring that up. Uh -huh. We're planning on having some car care clinics. Oh, um, okay. And what those are is for new car customers, they can bring their vehicle back in. Maybe they have some questions, don't really understand some things. We have a couple of the sales guys along with the service staff that can help go over the vehicle with them or a clinic where customers that have had it for a while and maybe, hey, I never knew how to set my seat. Let's go over that. Oh my or gosh. Just random things. That's got to be worth its weight in gold. Yeah, absolutely. So what are some of the things that you talk about? What is? What do you think people don't really understand? Well, the filter thing for me right there mm -hmm. was one. That's huge. Um, it's a lot of, there's so much technology in these vehicles nowadays mm -hmm. that you know, the navigation can be overwhelming or again, setting oh. your seats, your mirrors. There's so many things in these cars that when you purchase it, you know, it's a quick process and then that night it just, it's You're a like, lot to take yeah. in, right? right? So those clinics will help bring everybody back to center, give the customer a reason to come in. We can celebrate them a little, mm -hmm. have some knickknacks and things here on the weekend and just make it a fun environment for everybody. Do you, do you all still have like the, um, in the glove box where I can find out when my oils do. What's yes, it called? The maintenance logs. The maintenance mm -hmm. logs. Those okay. are still provided. Um, a lot of people have gotten away from because everything is stored, of course, on our computer. Mm -hmm. So anytime you need a record, we have those available as well. What about 
about tires? Are there recommendations for rotating my tires? Do we still do those mm -hmm. kinds of things? We recommend every other oil change. We like to rotate those tires just to give you good even wear and make sure that they're not wearing prematurely. Talk to me about as far as service goes. What are the, is there a typical time to do service? Is it like as the car gets older, you're going to do it more and more? Or? Well, no, it's pretty much spaced out at those certain intervals, and then it's all with your driving habits and conditions as well. You know, I grew up in an era where if you drove your car to, to 100,000 miles, it was toast. Yes, it was not that's, anymore. No. Yeah, that's, that's a thing of the past. These cars will last. They just keep on going. If you maintain your car, your car is going to take care of you. And when, when you say maintain the car, what does that look like for you in, as a service director? Oil change. Of course. Let's Oil see if change. I listen. Changing the filter. <laughs> There's your test. Yeah. Exactly. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else? Um, tires, oil, and then again, like your filters and the basic maintenance. Of course, things like wipers. That's a safety concern. Okay. Those type of things you're going to know that you need to replace because when you can't see out your windshield, well, you're going to know, hey, need new wipers. Exactly. Just the basic maintenance and, you know, following those recommendations. You are amazing to talk to. And what's fun is you're user friendly. And what I really feel is, feel like is I get good takeaways oh, well, from this. You. So thank awesome. you. Of course. We want to thank all of you for joining us here on Girl Talk. Please have a wonderful week. Thank you.